Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and today we have a Big Finish audio review, of course, The Lives of Captain Jack, Volume 3. And this is a pretty cool box set, because it, of course, features, well, Captain Jack and River Song together, which I think a lot of fans have been looking forward to them meeting up in some form, and we finally got it. But first, of course, we have the very first story in this box set, of course, Crush, featuring Jackie Tyler and Jack. And much like the first box set, Captain Jack and Jackie Tyler are in a phenomenal pairing. They are very hilarious together, and it's just a very interesting kind of combo that you never really think of too much. But Big Finish does a fantastic job with it. Now, of course, Jack takes Jackie to outer space for a cruise. However, their cruise plans kind of change because they're not on a cruise and there's murders happening. But of course, basically what happens is they're now on this kind of shuttle bus type of thing in space. And it's very confined. Now, of course, it's very interesting, though, of course, you know, with Jackie, she doesn't quite understand all of this. And she's kind of learning about it. And Jack is kind of, in a way, to me, kind of reminds me of, of course, the doctor, in a way, kind of, because he has to teach her, well, this is just how it is out here. And, of course, they soon have to figure out what is going on and, of course, kind of save the day. And, of course, they have a very interesting robot in charge of the ship, which adds some very humorous scenes. But, yeah, I really enjoy Crush. It, I think it was a fantastic start to this box set. It had some really great moments and some really good performances by two, you know, Kim, Camille Kadori and, of course, John Bowerman. Fantastic performances. And Jackie does make an appearance later on in this box set. But for the very first story, I really enjoyed it. It's a very fantastic listen. And it was just a great start to the box set. And I really enjoy these Captain Jack, Jackie team-ups. They're quite enjoyable. Of course, the second story in this box is, of course, Mighty and Despair. And this is a Captain Jack that we don't really see very often. This is Captain Jack, you know, with gray hair and far down the timeline. He's very reclusive. And he doesn't really want to help many people. So, of course, when these two kind of adventurers, one is a queen, of course, and her assistant arrive there, you know, Jack is very reluctant to help them. He doesn't want to get involved, and he just wants them to go away. Of course, they don't really go away, and they soon, you know, form a sort of friendship. You know, Jack kind of opens up a little bit, but of course, there's one thing. The reason that Captain Jack doesn't really want to help them is because one of them is, of course, a vampire. Which is kind of interesting to think about, you know, you got another immortal being meaning another immortal being. But, you know, Jack kind of introduces them to some, of course, Earth traditions. And it seems like everything is going good. Until it isn't. And I really like when kind of, you know, Captain Jack kind of feels like, you know, he opened up so much. And all of a sudden, then, you know, they were kind of tricking him. You know, at least she was. And it's just a very interesting kind of dynamic to see it you know Jack's like oh man what did you do why are you doing this and I really like that but I also think it's just a very interesting idea to see you know of course Captain Jack at the farthest point in his life I think it's something you don't really see very much and I really like the Big Finish explored it and I really like this this is what I really like about this Lives of Captain Jack box set is that you can go any point in Captain Jack's timeline and we get to see little examples of it you know, we get to see little moments from all around his timeline. So this box set is never in a particular order, and it's always jumping back and forth. Which is kind of what the third story in this box is like. Of course, R and J, of course, Captain Jack, River Song, together, at last, in a story. But this is a very unique story. Um, I quite enjoyed this story, honestly. But it's a story that doesn't really have, well, kind of an overall story. Because he kind of, much like River Song meeting the Doctor in no particular, you know, in a different order than he meets her, well, Captain Jack and River Song are meeting all throughout time. And I really find that kind of interesting, you know, because they, they're time travelers. And you really get to see them meet up at different points, you know, when Jack is a time agent, or a little bit down the road when he's with the Doctor, or other moments. And you really get to see that. But it's also kind of interesting, because sometimes, of course, River knows Jack, and Jack doesn't know River, and vice versa. So it makes for a very enjoyable story. Now the story is also packed with, of course, a bunch of Doctor Who references. 
you know, there's, of course, a mentioning of the face of Bo. You hear Jack with the Ninth Doctor, in a way, which they do it very uniquely, I would say. You know how, because, you know, they did Jack with Ninth Doctor and Rose, and they did it in a very interesting way because, of course, they don't have Christopher Eccleston or Billy Piper in this story. And I kind of also interesting how, you know, River meets, you know, Jackie Tyler, too. And, of course, you know, Captain Jack comes in for his normal visit to Jackie's apartment. But yeah, it's a very fantastic story. And honestly, the performance between both of them, Alex Kingston and John Bowerman, was phenomenal. It was just a really enjoyable story. And you just get to see, well, two, two time travelers meet up in various points of their timeline. And you also, oh, and speaking of another reference, of course, Jack takes over from Bernice Summerfield, which is a hilarious scene. I really enjoyed that scene. But yeah, overall... I really enjoyed The Lives of Captain Jack Volume 3, and it's just a really good box set. I'm not going to say it's one of the, probably going to be the best of 2020, but it's definitely a very enjoyable box set. It's definitely a lot of, you know, entertainment value. And I would say all three stories are worth a listen. You know, I think, of course, the second story I would say is the one I enjoyed the least out of it, but it was still a really enjoy. It was still a really good story, though. You know, there's a lot of good moments in that. The first story was just a really phenomenal treat to hear Tyler and Captain Jack. Great, great pairing that Big Finish has done. And of course, the third story, River Song meets Captain Jack. That's just awesome. Now, of course, has my thoughts on this box set, but tell me your guys' thoughts if, about this box set if you have listened to it in, of course, the comments below. And I'll, of course, see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.